Hello and welcome to The Print. I'm Akanksha Mishra and this is Scientifics where I will be taking you through this week's top science news from across the world. Today's first story is about a stellar new innovation by the University of California, San Francisco, where scientists have enabled a paralyzed man to control a robotic arm using just his imagination. These devices are called brain-computer interfaces and they have been tested before. But the interesting thing about the UC San Francisco research is that their BCI worked for seven months on patients, which is a whole new record. The paraplegic participants could grab and move items, open and close doors, and turn on water dispensers just by imagining themselves doing these activities. The robotic arm was trained on AI, and one important step that the researchers took was to adjust the BCI to the daily changes that occurred in brain activity and signals as humans learn new things. Led by the neurologist Karunesh Ganguly, this study is a huge step in neuroprosthetic control. The next story today is one everybody should pay attention to. The production of rice, potatoes, corn and wheat, some of the largest food crops around the world is under threat due to rising temperatures and the reduction of available cropland. A new study in Nature Food shows that up to 30% of the food production in countries near the equator will be affected even with a 2 degree Celsius of global warming. This is because as the world temperatures rises, a large section of the land that's currently used for farming will become unsuitable for agriculture, or at least for growing the staple crops of that region. What's more concerning, the study found that with the reduction in cropland, the diversity of food production will also decline around the world, which is leading to fewer sources of nutrients available for populations. The solutions suggested include adopting climate-resilient crops and practicing crop selection in a way that takes into account the ecological changes that are bound to happen when temperatures rise around the world. In popular culture, the pain-relieving abilities of marijuana are often hidden by its more mainstream recreational use. But scientists from Stanford University have now managed to create a chemical compound that has the exact facilities that mimic the pain relief from marijuana without any of the side effects. Marijuana or weed or cannabis is a very good alternative to opioids and does provide long-term pain relief. But its molecules also perform a dual function and they lead to mood changes. That is why they're mostly avoided in pain relief treatments. But what the Stanford researchers have been able to do is change the marijuana compound in such a way that it only binds to the pain receptors in the brain and does not have any other mind-altering side effects. This is great news for over-the-counter pain relief treatment, but also for synthetic compound designs for medical applications. Finally, let's end on a hopeful note with a new study from MIT that shows that the ozone layer has healed because of a reduction in the emissions of chlorofluorocarbons. While the recovery of the ozone layer has been documented for a few years, the MIT researchers used a new quantitative study to understand exactly what was the impact of human emissions reductions in this recovery. The study used a method called fingerprinting, which was pioneered by Nobel winner Klaus Hausmann They isolated the impacts of the reduction of ozone-depleting substances like chlorofluorocarbons in the recovery of the ozone hole above the Antarctic from 2005 to 2025. They can now say with 95% confidence that the reason the hole in the ozone layer has recovered is because of human actions. The study is huge in terms of showing the real tangible impact of human activities in reducing environmental problems. That's all we have for today. Thank you for tuning into The Print. Thank you.